What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Garage. Today we're doing a shakedown of the auxiliary fuel system, so make sure and stick around. everybody welcome back to the garage and if you've been following along you know well for one that we had a leak on the supercharger got that figured out the main case o-ring was blown out got that replaced went ahead and replaced the front seal while we were in there on top of it you would also know that we had some issues on the last tune besides going into limp mode where the auxiliary fuel system was not working well i've got up tuner studio right now we're connected up and i'll show you what was causing the issue now i went through initially and just zeroed out a lot of the startup and idle stuff that was where the mistake was at because the warm-up enrichment uh, that's not the one that we're opening up here the warm-up enrichment was killing us because basically I would zeroed everything out so there was not ever getting through warm-up enrichment the idea behind this table is you get to a certain point beyond that you're always uh, at 100% fueling that enables all the rest of the VE tables in there so as you can see I flatlined the warm-up table now so we're always commanding 100% fuel because we're not even bringing in coolant temp and stuff like this to the micro squirt we don't care about all that we've got it through the ECM uh, but that has solved it I was able to command some uh, duty cycle I adjusted our VE table let's kind of take a look at what we're looking at right now and this we'll probably have to play with this a little bit more but as you can see we're not getting into fuel until we get up to basically 18 kPa over atmospheric or 1400 rpms which we're always going to be kind of above 1400 rpms but a very gradual ramp from 10 all the way up to 150 at 200 kPa which is 15 psi around there so we'll have to play with these numbers they may be a little bit aggressive on the top side of it but we need to go in log the data see how uh, our error ratios are affected by all this stuff but for now that's in place I'm going to go ahead let the truck warm up and uh, dump in our previous uh, our last step of the math tuning that we had done uh, before I had to put everything back to run it on NA over the weekend. And then once we get that loaded up, we'll go from there. Okay, so we've got everything hooked up, powered up, and we are monitoring our auxiliary stuff over on the tablet here. And we're gonna see whether or not our wideband drops out. I figured it would because we also have the snow performance thing on doing a live log right now. I'm gonna log it. And so we're looking for auxiliary fuel. So we got the truck nice and warmed up here. We're gonna kind of get her up into speed. And I don't know that the methanol injection, I've got it set up right, but I should be good to go on the pulse width off the micro squirt, so. There, we've got fuel and we are super rich. So that is working right. Perfect, now we've got auxiliary fuel on the micro squirt. We're running so rich, we're making no power. I love it, love it. We don't seem to be injecting any methanol yet. So we'll get to a stopping point up here. Scroll back through, because we're seeing, we're seeing boost pressure, but we're not activating our uh, duty cycle on our methanol injection. Okay, so we were seeing fuel from our auxiliary system. It's way aggressive. So we're gonna go in like I talked about earlier. We're gonna dial this thing back a little bit, uh, quite a bit in fact. And then we're going to log a different screen on our methanol injection system to see where we're getting at on the table to get an idea whether or not we're activating our injection on that stuff. So if we come in here at our max, let's drop this down to 30%, which would be 30% VE. And uh, we will kind of uh, interpolate across there and burn that in. And in fact, we might be coming on a little bit hot. So let's go ahead and start at one in the corner. We'll take it out to about 10 on both ends here. And then let's interpolate this way. There we go. Now we'll have a more gradual secondary fuel system come on. Uh, should look a lot better on that side of things. So we'll close this down and pull up snow performance here and we want to do live updates here so we are reading this live you can see on the right hand side that we've got the map sensor 
and the engine speed reading and duty cycle is what we'll be looking for. We should also see there's a red crosshair right now. You can't see the crosshair because we're all the way down at the bottom, but as we move across the graph, it should trace on the graph and show us exactly uh, where we're at there. So we're gonna go ahead, get back into this, see if we can't get some uh, readings from our methanol injection system, see what's going on there. There we go. We were getting methanol that time, so I actually saw our flow gauge reading methanol. Not sure why it's being so staggered. I'm gonna to have to play with it some more because I want it coming on earlier. It's almost like we're not reading our boost pressure properly or something. I'm not sure. But we have auxiliary fuel, we have methanol injection. The methanol injection is gonna need some adjustments. We're just not getting very good flow. So I need to double check, make sure our solenoids are opening up correctly. Uh, the lights coming on indicating that the solenoids are being activated. But that doesn't mean that all three of them, there could have been something that happened. These things happen where we're trying to trigger three solenoids. We've got a pre-pump solenoid and two on the uh, direct injection setup. You would think uh, we would be getting some flow if it was just one solenoid that was bad, unless it was the pre-pump solenoid that wasn't opening up. So we'll double check everything. But we're doing a lot better with auxiliary fuel injection right now, which is kind of awesome. I'm super excited to, to get into the tuning process of seeing what our math curve is gonna look like with that auxiliary fuel injection in there making a big difference on how we take fuel on. Okay, we're back at the house here, we're connected up. I'm gonna test out the methanol injection again. Let's go ahead and open up the solenoids. Solenoids are open. We're gonna put about 10% duty cycle to the methanol pump. Not seeing anything. Bump it up to 25. You know, I think we're seeing injection. I think my gauge is not properly reading the injection though. So that would make sense given that we've, I thought that we've had injection from the get go. It acted like that we were running into some rich spots. We diesel a little bit, so we were definitely a little rich there. But yeah, I'll have to double check my AEM gauge. It's just not getting readings from the looks of it. It was kind of pulsing a little bit there at the end, but uh, just not, being uh, consistent on that side of it. But we do have all this auxiliary fuel that's going in there. So what I need to do now is go ahead, I'm gonna save this as a good version of our fuel injection stuff. And we will go and start the math tuning process with all of this auxiliary fu fueling. So good to get all that sorted out. Make sure it's working. Make sure and stick around. Check out the other videos if you haven't. Uh, this is the third one in the map tuning series. The fourth one's going to be the one where we really get into the meat and potatoes of getting all this stuff lined out. Pretty happy with where our auxiliary fueling's at right now. Uh, and now that we know that we are getting some stuff on our uh, uh, methanol injection, I'll go back, review the logs, make sure that we are commanding duty cycle on here, and I won't be as determined of reading stuff off of our fail safe gauge here. So I'll have to do some research. Our, our flow sensor may be going bad, but that being it for now, we're gonna wrap it up. I've got some work to do. Uh, you know the drill. Thanks for stopping out the garage and remember ABT, always be tuning.